I often talk about the <coughs> melee range, yeah? When I, when I mean by melee range, is this sort of range. There's people in pubs or whatever it is, when you get into some sort of alter, altercation, they don't start here and go, really, touch gloves. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I understand that that is part of competition, yeah? But here is where things start. And here is where things finish, <coughs> typically, if not on the ground. So we're, what we're trying to do when we train is we're trying to get uh, used to attacks being launched either here or if it's a kick from here. Okay. So that sort of range or that sort of range. Both are within the melee range because with this kick I can still reach with a leading, leading punch. I can even lead, reach with a, with a uh, reverse punch. I can certainly reach with a kick. Once we're in totally kicking range and there's, there's nothing I can do to reach him, I'm, I'm pretty much out of the melee range. The melee range is here where I can hit with both. I can certainly kick the, you know, the, the extremities, but I can still hit with a punch. Right to here, which is your closer melee range, and then in here, which is grappling range. Um, uh, training the thigh, and so we, we, we could practice uh, with kicking each other's thighs once you get this crack, 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 crack. I don't like that. I don't, I'm not against conditioning thighs. You can get a, some sort of conditioning stick and smack your thigh. Don't the groove. What we're trying to do with that little drill is groove this response so that I have an instant reaction. That I don't think that there's a situationally appropriate reflex. I similarly don't ever want to accept a blow. This, you're, you might be really tough. But heck, I wouldn't like Dave to keep me in the, in the shin, in the, sorry, in the front. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sweep the leg away and we're going to not get a hit. I'm not just going to kick, not just going to check, I'm going to sweep it slightly to the side, like a namiyashi. Okay. And effectively, if you think of a namiyashi in a horse stance, it lifts like that. But if we did this, I'm actually doing it there, but I'm not, I'm still looking at it. Yeah. So he kicks. Okay, all we want to do is keep going. Get used to. So when you get a kick, you wait for you can mission your thighs. But you want that instant. So we're sparring and he kicks. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily count with my own thigh kick. I have to be very careful. With Dave there, for instance, you just punch me. Yeah, okay, so I wouldn't this is just a drill. I deliberately set up a rhythm. Rhythms are only important for one thing, teaching you not to have to think logically. You don't have the time for logical thought. They teach you to react intuitively but intelligently. So that when this sort of thing happens, that's the part you're concerned about. The counter, you could do anything. I could do this. Yeah, I don't have to do a counter with a thumb. We're doing this rotationally or continually, taking turns in order to set up a rhythm. Rhythm sets up learning because you have to do thousands of repetitions for it to be instantaneous for the situation and the reflex to i call it situational reflex because there's a big difference between situational awareness and reflex bringing them together having situational reflex is a completely different thing i think i mentioned before in the supermarket seeing a mango drop roughly where dave is the mango drops the guy's watching it, I go, catch. His quick reaction. No, reaction was slow. I didn't catch it there. I caught it just before hit the ground. But I did have react the reflex of a parent. So, parents, something drops, catch. You read the child. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen videos of fathers catching their children. It's not catching the child, the child almost falls head first off the sofa or whatever. Parents are used to catching things. So I saw the mango drop it out, I don't want to ruin the mango. That guy was just a 20 year old man, no children. No, I haven't had to learn that reflex. This is where you learn, through repetition. Okay, and bruise mangoes, thanks. No, no. Those that don't know the formula, this is slow. Uh, what I really want to do is raise it up to here. Many people think of what's called namiyashi in karate, up to here. And there are many forms that we do in Chinese and uh, Okinawan arts that do the sweep. It's not to here, that's a very specific movement 
and there can be such a thing. Uh, but it's not this one. This one goes in front. If you just go to here, you're not really getting out of the way. This is an evasion as much as it is a sweep and hooking motion. There's lots of application. In terms of an evasion, it's here. So what I really want is that. You notice how there's not much difference between me and the rope and me doing it. I have to do it quicker. If I try and do it slowly, it's harder. This is my new hip. It's not too bad, yeah? So the idea is that I'm here and momentarily I'm in a side angle. Keep it out. In horse stance, Mabu in Chinese. Mabu. And you notice I haven't gone completely sideways, I'm just here. And I'm literally going with this foot. See how the wave, that's what they call it, the turning away. Notice how they're turning. And I can redirect that foot slide. Yeah. Okay. So this is why it's called the turning way. It moves with the leg. If I go too early, he just cracks me. Whatever he does. But if he kicks in and you go with it, I've got that contact. And that return way works in a number of ways. If, for instance, he's kicking and I kick, yeah, it's shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it might seem ludicrous, but you're often kicking at the same time. And if you can catch that, and there's a lot of techniques which you rely on this movement. Yeah, boom. So returning way, return, <coughs> counter. Oh, by the way, from my function. Sometimes people miss this kicking. Sometimes they miss so hard. The kick so hard they turn around. What will they do? People are trained fighters know to come straight back with a work There, and crack, I don't want that. So this, all these techniques you'll see when you finish the move with this, are for good reason. One, ah! yeah. I can continue doing whatever I need to do. So it doesn't, there are lots of techniques to stop. You can do that one. Yeah, stopping it again. Right. Kidneys. If your body stays square, that's okay. I'll just end up walking with my shin. Yeah. That's not so bad. But I want to try and absorb, take some of it way with me. So I'm looking at him, but my body turns a little bit, just there. So that I'm in no self-control. Yeah? I want that control. The more I speak to him, the more I can tell what he's going to do. And what is comforted here is by that contact. Yeah? He's so preoccupied by that, that momentarily forgot my arms are that close. Kicks, yay, lift. If I follow my head with the body, this is how I look, but I don't. I look in here. Ah, okay. And of course I follow through and I kick. So you need this exact example. So it kicks. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is just a drill. And we're still talking about the melee range. Why don't we start from this distance? Because honestly, if they do that, you just get the hell out of it. I mean, if you're in a combat match, people will say, what's the difference? But if you're in a combat match, combat sport, you can't just run away, you can't Hey, I don't want to fight anymore, you can't not fight, you can't run out the door, you can't do a lot of things. You like me still because you don't want to lose. Your job is to keep going on because you want to win. Winning in civilian defense is not being hit. So this is why our primary focus with karate is on melee range, because this is where things start. They start out here, something has gone wrong. If you've got yourself in this situation circling, you know you've already you've already stuffed up. You've got in a monkey dance and then you end up squaring off outside the pub or that's that's your fault. You have to accept some blame. It's going to be that type of short. Yeah, it's in, in a melee and range. So you've, it's got a, you've got very little time, so the reflex action kick in. It's got to be great. Exactly so. Show me again. So he kicks on the front foot. Yeah. That would be straight in because it's no. not going to be coming from all the way back here. I can see that a mile away, probably if he goes kick back there. I'll just close the range myself because he's put himself yeah. on one leg and from a long way away. I if we and his knees are he's gonna go for my knee. Get my knee out of the way so And that's quite damage. frankly something that people often do even in competition. But here it takes on a special urgency in the melee range, yes? Okay.